This review is made possible by the EA Game Changers program. Hello my beautiful buddies and welcome back to the channel for a final thoughts overview review on the Sims 4 Journey to Bad 2 game pack. Now I am going to start off by saying I am in no way shape or form a Star Wars fan. I have seen one of the movies from the last trilogy and like a couple of the rides when I went on to, to Disney parks in the past but I don't know that much about it that's like the extent of my knowledge and i've watched maybe like a friend play one of the ea other star wars games in the past but that's still like all i like really have seen about it so excuse me if i'm kind of like ignorant with this kind of thing but i am gonna try to be fair in my review but I have like a few things that i feel like i have to go ahead and talk about that i feel like kind of not necessarily bother me but i just feel like they are kind of like questions above my head and the first of being is why is this in the normal game like why isn't this a spin-off and i think i kind of like answered my own question when i thought about it right before i did this review and i think a that they want to target new people to the game and hoping that this sort of gameplay will keep them playing longer afterwards and like doing normal sim type things. Um, but I feel like if that's the case, I don't understand why that these types of packs don't have their own category, like they don't have their own type of story packs. Because Strangerville and Jungle Adventures I feel like are in kind of that story mode kind of thing. So I feel like they really should consider making them their own category or rebranding them into like the story pack category just because i feel like game pack should be reserved for these are the tools that help you tell your story versus these story packs are the tools that you help us tell our story kind of thing um you guys can let me know if you agree down below i don't know if that could ever be a thing but i really think it'd be a smart idea because even as like watching the first trailer i was kind of like how can they make an entire game pack like using this like how like how would we use it and i feel like it kind of just answers the question more very easily if you just tell them specifically like this is gonna be like one of those mission based question type choose your own adventure rpg kind of thing in that kind of lane trying to be at least um but yeah i feel like that was my first point and i feel like even though that this pack isn't particularly my type of game like play style um i i can see the potential there is something i will go over the things that i like first so far i really really liked in the pack um how beautiful the world is i feel like that's something that the team really does well they really do the visual as well um i also do think that the idea of having your sim like go into a store um or go into to like get food is smart do like the rabbit hole kind of thing i really like that because then i hope that's impl implemented more because i feel like we have too many food stalls or too many store stalls and i feel like it's kind of different and nice to have some of the, like the set dressing in the background for the worlds um to be used um i even like the whole freshen up sleep thing i feel like that could be used like in a normal vacation kind of world thing in the future like if they did like a winter vacation pack that'd be kind of cool like your sim can go skiing or something like that and they can go lodging in there um for like the hotels and things like that so i feel like i see the potential how that would be cool in other packs um, the only thing that I feel like is kind of not cool about the rabbit holes is I feel like there was a little bit too many. Like during some of the missions it asks you to like to pick up a package or something like that and you don't see your sim actually go in and picking up the package they disappear behind a door. Like that would be nice just to see like a little animation of them just like grabbing it or something like that. Um, but yeah that was kind of like my critique i guess for the missions i feel like they are fun however i feel like 
if you watch Let's Plays, I feel like you maybe spoil it a little bit for yourself. Um, because I did the uh, Resistance because that was the only path I hadn't seen because I did check out some early access footage from the Game Changers who did get early access. And, um, I feel like the paths are kind of similar, but I feel like they are different enough for you to get a few playthroughs for it. Personally, it isn't something that I feel like I'd be reaching for a whole ton a lot, but I do feel like they are interesting enough to like give it a shot. Um, I feel like there is the most potential for builders here because I feel like builders do have a lot of cool debug items um, and just like just some nice I feel like build items as well um, that they could use and I feel like if you're creative some person unless you're like an occult person honestly I really can't see you using it that much just because I feel like the the clothing items are very, very specific to Batu, um, unless you were gonna go for, like, I don't know, um, some sort of alien clothing or something like that. Which brings me to my next point, is that I would really like the alien mask to be patched in for aliens. Like, to me, that makes the most sense. I think someone told, told me that, like, on Twitter or something like that, and I think that was really silly. Um, well, not telling me, but they told everybody, but you get the point. Um, and I, um, also can, like, see builders, you know, like, doing something cool with it, like an amusement park or something like that. So I feel like it does have the potential to be used in that sort of way if you're creative kind of thing um however i really do feel like the main target is to be a star wars fan and obviously i am not <laughs> i i personally have liked collaborations in the past like i know some people didn't like the machina one but i personally really liked it i really like the whole style kind of thing and just having like different business like kind of collaborations with this i feel like it was a little difficult because i feel like you kind of have to not only i guess attract star wars fans but also attract people that maybe are like me that i feel like if i was going to be buying this i like i don't know if i have to have as much as a strong desire to just because it's something of that I don't normally, you know, like watch or, or like enjoy. So I feel like that's that was kind of like an interesting decision on EA's part. I know they have a have the rights to Star Wars games um, because of like Disney and like their whole licensing thing, um, which is probably why this is made. But I don't know. I just feel like at this point in time, there could have been better packs that have been made than this one at the current moment. I'm not saying this is that this was a bad pack. I really do like the whole mission thing. I think it's cool. I think they have the potential to do something really cool with it. Um, maybe for like the last packs. Like I would really like to see maybe an into the future, into the past kind of storyline with this um, kind of setup whole thing because I really do like the way that they did make it work within the parameters of how the game normally works. Um, like, I do feel like it was an update from Strangerville where, like, all of your objectives, like, were in the Aspiration. Like, it was split evenly between Aspiration and, um, Career. Um, however, I just, like I said, I feel like I want that in, like, the future, you know? I feel like we should focus more on things that are more usable. I'm not, not that this isn't usable. I'm, of course, you could use it, but I just feel like things that are more kind of requested things from players that um, have been requesting a lot. Like I know like getting a new audience is, is important, like expanding the fan base. But however, I do feel like, I don't know, cause obviously I don't have their sale information. So I can't sit here and say that like this wouldn't sell as great as something else, you know? Like I can't just pull that out of the hat. Like I, I don't for sure know. But I'm just saying in my, I feel like in my bones, I feel like you'll probably get more success probably going with something that is more requested at the current moment than doing that. Because I feel like, you know, I feel like, yeah, some people were arguing that like with other people that um, didn't like the pack. Um, when this like first was announced that um, you know like this isn't a target audience you know like you're not the target audience like you're not the one 
that they're trying to get. They're trying to do something different. And you know what? The gurus are great. They're amazing people. They're amazing, hardworking people. And no shame or no, like, hate to them at all. But I just, I do really feel like you can't sit here and, like, say that, like, Star Wars pack right now would be more important than having, like, I don't know, like, a pack, like, refining a certain age group or something like that. Like, I do really feel like something like that is maybe more needed right now. Um, cause yeah, I just, I just feel like that Star Wars will, will always be relevant, you know? Like, there's so many movies of it. I don't really feel like it would make a difference if they released this pack this year or next year. In fact, in my personal opinion, I think if they did release it right after a really, really, really requested, like, expansion pack or something like that like a like right after it or or something like that i feel like it would have gotten maybe a better reaction from the community than it did have um but yeah, again i i can't project that you know it didn't happen um i'm just like hypothetically speaking like a, how i would feel because like i know we did get like eco lifestyle and some people wanted eco things but that was like for like a stuff pack um i feel like it like they like blown out the idea and made a whole expansion pack of it and that was cool um but yeah i really do feel like it wasn't like super duper 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 like everybody wanted it kind of thing um and yeah i'm just kind of like kind of just like thinking about like where maybe the future of the sims is going because i know for a fact that um they did do the just do the sim sparked um challenge on tv and the whole point of that was like for it to be kind of considered an esport now um so i'm just kind of like thinking like are the sims trying to target a new audience more permanently or are they just kind of like doing this just to like really expand the fan base because i really do like the idea of like you know people do seeing that like you know you do need skill to build like you do need skill to like make these cool storylines like you know like people do really do have skill doing it but maybe just not in the way that people see as like sit and like shoot kind of thing um and yeah, I, I do, like I said, I, I do feel like the, the stories are interesting. I do really like stories. I feel like that's one thing in the past that Sims games, like, back in the day really had a really strong sense of is, like, making these, like, really cool, wacky games with a lot of objectives and things like that. So I really like that. I just feel like it doesn't need to be prioritized at the current moment if you try and, if you, like, get the vibe that I'm saying. And, like, I feel like if this pack was a something different, like if it was a maybe a more generalized occult or like something, a slightly different topic, like I feel like I'd be more into it, especially too if we've gotten, I don't know, like some sort of hobby or generation pack like before this, like I feel like I'd be set. Like I would, I feel like I would, I would like it personally. I just feel like just because it was like Star Wars, I don't feel like I can appreciate it as much as like as you as you're like hearing me like trying to say right now. Um, but yeah, like I said, like you might really love Star Wars. This might be right up your alley. And you know what? I'm so happy for you because I I've also like watched um, some streamers that did say like they really liked it and like some YouTube videos that people say they really liked it because I really wanted to see like maybe the other side of it like somebody who like really 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 liked it because i really do feel like this pack is kind of like a hit or miss thing i feel like you're either gonna really like it or you're gonna be like not necessarily my cup of tea but it's cool kind of thing um so yeah i just find it really interesting because i do find that some people that are actually star wars fans said that they found it just a little disappointing for them i found because they expected the missions to be like maybe more intense or something like that um so yeah i just like i do really feel like it, they're trying to like emulate the whole choose your own adventure rpg kind of thing like the same way i feel like they're trying to do other games or, or something like that like other games in that kind of area and i i don't know i just I just don't necessarily feel that for this game but I like I said I don't know if it's because I don't feel it because I just don't like Star Wars or if I just don't feel it because I just don't feel it in The Sims because I I do like other games you know like I do really like the idea of 
you know like those choose your own adventure stories kind of like kind of like you know like being a little like life is strange and like stuff like that like that's like that's cool like i like those pop-ups like that i do really like the missions where you have to like face people and stuff like that but yeah that's kind of like my final verdict so if you're a builder i'd say yes to you this would be a good pack for you um especially for the de debug items create this in person um, if you're an occult person, I would say yes. Otherwise, if you're an everyday person, I don't know if this would really suit your kind of thing unless you just kind of like want more like costumes for your Sims Halloween or I don't know if they just wanted to like dress up for, I don't know, some fun amusement park build that you did. Um, but yeah, I feel like for creative some people, not, not as much. Um, if you like storylines, and if I feel like if you're particularly maybe new to kind of, kind of whole, like, you know, RPG, choose your own adventure kind of thing, I feel like maybe this would be good for you, like, as a starter kind of one. Um, and if you're a Star Wars fan, yes. If you're a more occult player, like I said, I feel like you maybe would get more use out of this. Because I feel like if you're someone who's kind of just an everyday player that is maybe just looking for more content for their legacy family or something like that, a legacy challenge family, then I don't really feel this as much for you guys because I don't, I don't know. I just feel like it's a really, really niche pack. And like I said, it's either going to be a hit or miss. And I hate, um, and I hate like doing this because I kind of feel like I have to give this one like a middle rating because like this is, is, isn't my cup of tea, but I know for a fact that some people really like Star Wars, so you know, it might be for them. Um, but yeah, I just like really hope that we get some like more content that's highly requested in the, in the new year. I Like I said, I really like the fact that they like figured out how to make this work like within The Sims. I think that's cool. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to get something kind of like this in the future, um, but more be more generalized and after I feel like things that kind of maybe more need to be done. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's kind of like my final like verdict on it. My other, I guess, side note too is that I don't really feel like it's not necessarily that is not fair because obviously I feel like people like Deli and James and things like that do deserve to get early access. But I feel like it's kind of confusing to me that there is this EA Game Changer program and then like half of us do get like super early access like the camp people then everyone else like kind of doesn't kind of thing or they get like early access later and those people just get super early access because like we're in the middle of a pandemic right now so it's not like those people are going to camp personally um so i feel like they can either give someone else a chance and I, when i say this i don't mean me but i know that there's channels out there that have like you know 50 40 30 20 10k you know that they could get early access to because i feel like no matter what like Delhi and James and those kinds of people like are gonna help sell the pack no matter what if they like it you know because like their fans will will hear their opinions either way I don't really feel like those people always need to and I feel like maybe you'll tap into different kind of I don't know different kind of people because like you know some people don't necessarily watch everybody that's like super duper popular maybe sometimes or they appreciate smaller content creators because they can focus more on them like you know they'll answer them back more so that's just like a food for thought just because i feel like that kind of needs to be more equalized because i kind of feel like it's just i don't know i just feel like it's just kind of weird because i do feel like sometimes like some of us do feel a little out of the loop um but yeah like i said i'm not specifically saying like i deserve it or anything like that i'm just saying that i think that there are other channels that i feel like do deserve the chance as well um that are not always like people that are part of like that group all the time and all of the course like no hate to them they make amazing content that's the reason why they get it um but that's just like kind of a side note but yeah i want to hear you guys opinions on this pack if you guys agree with me if you guys don't agree with me um how you feel if you bought it if you are getting it um if you are not getting it like why or why not kind of thing um and make sure you guys you comment down below um and um subscribe to me as well as follow me on my other social media I I will see you guys soon um and i love you all okay bye 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 I don't wanna...